And let's just get this straight for a minute, because I think it's important to take a step back. What the Prime Minister is coming to this House to tell us today is that his flagship achievement, the deal he told us was a triumph, the deal he said, as I said, that was oven ready, the deal on which he fought and won the general election is now contradictory and ambiguous. Madam Deputy Speaker, what incompetence, yeah. Yeah. what yeah. failure of government, yeah. governance. Yeah. Exactly and right. and Madam, De Madam Deputy Speaker, how dare he try and blame everyone else? Can I say to the Prime Minister, this time he can't blame the right honourable member for Maidenhead, he can't blame John Major, he can't blame the judges, he can't blame the civil servants, he can't sack the Cabinet Secretary again. There's only one person responsible for it, and that's him. Yeah. This is his deal. It's his mess. It's his failure. For the first time in his life, it's time to take responsibility. It's time to fess up. Either he wasn't straight with the country about the deal in the first place, or he didn't understand it. Because, Madam Deputy Speaker, a competent government would never have entered into a binding agreement with provisions it could not live with. And if such a government somehow missed the point but woke up later, it would have done what any competent business would do after it realises it can't live with the terms of a contract. It would negotiate a way out in good faith. Now, let me say right at the outset, we want the smoothest trade across our United Kingdom, including Northern Ireland. There is a way to resolve these issues in the joint committee set up for this purpose. I have to say, Madam Deputy Speaker, from a man who said he wanted to get Brexit done and won an election on it, this bill gets Brexit undone by, 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 by overturning key aspects of the protocol that were uh, agreed.